Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might want in your collection. So, who's in the mood for an adventure? Are you ready to discover lands unknown and perhaps make some scientific discoveries along the way? Well, if so, here's five things I think you need to know about Papua. Papua from Devier Games is a game about exploration for two to four players. In it, you're part of a 19th century scientific expedition to Papua New Guinea, where you're interested in discovering some unusual flora and fauna and getting to know more about the locals. The winner is the person to have the most victory points across a variety of activities. Mechanically speaking, this game is all about set collection with a heavy dose of worker slash dice placement. You'll start your turn by rolling a number of dice and you'll be able to use the numbers you roll to activate specific areas on the map. Now the interesting part is that you often get to decide what numbers go where. So if you choose to put a three on the interacting with the local spot, it means everyone else has to roll a three to be able to use it. Now, of course you don't actually place the dice on the board itself. No, no, you've workers to do that for you. And sometimes the number of workers you place on a location will genuinely matter. Now, the thing is that obviously these spots represent aspects of the expedition. So you'll be able to do things like meet with the locals, which gives you an extra dice and an extra meeple. You'll be able to go foraging into the forest to look for flora and fauna. And this part is important for set collection. You're also able to gather money and fish. And then there are two extra spots which give you kind of bonuses throughout the game. One of which is on a card and that also counts for the set collection. Now, it's great to have all these workers doing these things for you, but of course there's a price and they cost energy. So everyone starts the game with 50 energy and every time you place a worker out, you lose one. And the game ends when somebody drops below zero. When it comes to scoring, set collection really is king here, but other things count as well, such as how much money you have, how much fish you have, and even the number of workers you have left, because sadly they can die on the roll of a six. Similar games to Papua. Well, it feels a lot like, you know, most other dice or worker placement games. However, it's got so many bits of other mechanics thrown in here that it really doesn't feel like anything else I've played. Setup is pretty straightforward as there actually aren't that many components. And the rulebook itself is really, really good. It explained absolutely everything very clearly and answered all of my questions. It's nice to see a good rulebook here. Now, to, for two of us to play, it takes about 60 minutes um, and that's with a dummy player. So that might explain the length. Um, I'm sure there is variations in each game to make it kind of sharp. However, it does play very similarly. Aesthetics wise, this game really embraces the whole jungle exploration vibe, while somehow skirting around issues of cultural appropriation or indeed misrepresentation. The board itself is beautiful, but very, very generic, and but all of the components are incredibly well made. And you can have a closer look at those in my unboxing video. What's special about Papua? I think it has to be the type of player interactions it creates. So for example, if you're the person on the least energy at the start of the round, you get to block off a spot on the board entirely. And you can see what kind of effects that might have. And not only that, but when you roll your dice and you're determining you know, what numbers are gonna go where, you're really greatly affecting other players. On a whole, there's lots of ways to mess with each other in this game. So how do I really feel about Papua? Firstly, the negatives. I'm sad to say that everything about this game feels really generic and uninspired. Have we seen this theme before? Yes. Have we seen these mechanics before? Yes. Are there other games that do this better than Papua? Probably. Um, the other problem here is that the game seems to rely upon players, you know, creating tension themselves um, and not necessarily coming from the game. So it seems like all of the kind of the fun stuff seems to be focused around when you and another player are competing for a spot. But I never really felt that tension. In fact, nothing I did felt kind of important or interesting. Like none of the actions you take connect together. So you don't need to get this to get to this to get to this. No, no, it's like I need this now to pay for this and, and that's it. No more than that. And it ended up feeling like the board itself was really just a way to further gameplay rather than something you were using strategically to consider your actions. The positives. This game escalates as the turns progress, assuming of course you do the interact with the local action, making it incredibly well paced and very timely. 
Not only that, but this game has a whole host of ideas inside of it. So for instance, if you want to do the flora and fauna action, you end up performing a bidding type of action. And if you're the kind of person that likes a good host of mechanics in a game, then I think you'll find this very appealing. Do I think you should have Papua in your collection? Um, the straight answer is no, this game didn't sit well with me and I've been struggling to imagine a person or think of somebody that I think would really appreciate this style of game. So my advice to you is to save your money and put it towards something else. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. If you've got any comments or queries you want to make about Papua, why not leave them in the comments below? Or if you want to do something super cool and super nice, you could like or subscribe to the channel because, you know, that's good stuff. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.